In this class, I'm going to assume that you're using the Oxygen IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Um, Oxygen is a standard tool we're going to be using. Um, if you'd like, you can use a different one, um, but all of the um, demos that I do will be in Oxygen, and so um, uh, it'll be up to you to translate between what I say about Oxygen and what you see in your own environment. I've used uh, a variety of XML authoring environments, and actually I think Oxygen is one of the best that I've used, and in fact it's also um, has a very reasonable pricing model for students to, to buy into it, and it also runs on the Macintosh and the PC, so therefore it has um, pretty much everything we need for this course. Anyway, um, uh, an integrated design environment is, um, is there to give you, uh, you all the tools you need to work in a particular um, development environment. If you're working in HTML, something like Dreamweaver or Web Expressions, then ID. If you're working in programming, Visual Studio, uh, NetBeans, JBuilder, those are all um, integrated de development environments. So Oxygen is our integrated development environment. It's going to give us all the tools we need for working with XML. And what does it mean to work with XML? Well, you haven't quite gotten all the way through that yet, but let me give you a preview. First of all, working with instances. As we have on the screen right here, this is an XML instance. It's an XML file with, with uh, content in it. And this actually is the XML file that drives a presentation of the screen that you're looking at right now. Um, so the, so uh, uh, Oxygen will allow us to work with this instance, do different things with the instance. I'll demonstrate presently. Um, it'll allow you to define schemas and validate uh, your work against schemas. It'll allow you to create transforms and apply those transforms to instances. So it pretty much does everything you need in order to construct and debug your XML-based systems, um, including authoring the XML, creating the schemas that rule them, and also um, uh, allowing you to create transforms to transform them. Uh, what Oxygen isn't, however, is a programming environment. It's not. Uh, it, it's not everything that you need in order to, bu to build a web-based application. The biggest piece that's missing really is, um, uh, is the programming environment that allows you to build a web-based application that opens, loads, transforms, validates your XML files. So you do things manually in Oxygen, but you can't automate them. So you can't turn them into a web application. So we'll be using it to work offline with, um, with XML and uh, as you, for example, as you see with this XML that's in front of you, there's something in between this XML and viewing it in the browser, and that's a program. And Oxygen is not a programming environment. It doesn't allow you to do that kind of programming. Although we'll see when we work with transforms that there's some kind of programming that goes on, but it's not the programming that application developers do in order to create web systems. It's also not a web design environment. It doesn't really have a WYSIWYG view where you see web pages and you get to um, uh, mess around with your web pages. So you'll, uh, when it comes time to create web pages, and in this class, there's there's much less of that than um, than there is in real life. But uh, when it comes time to create web uh, pages, you'll want to use some kind of web design environment, a Dreamweaver or Web Expressions or whatever it is you use. So beyond Oxygen, um, you need to add some sort of um, uh, application, some sort of web-based application that opens and parses your XML files. Um, and transforms them and sends them down to the um, to the end user as web pages, um, and you'll need some programming environment to uh, make that happen. And as I mentioned, you'll need a web design environment to do the look and feel of your pages and to basically to create the the format of the pages that will then be rendered by transforms. So uh, some of this may be beyond what you're ready to hear right now. Just take out of this particular um, that the, uh, just take out of this particular discussion that uh, Oxygen is the tool that we'll use to work with XML. It has everything you need for this class, but as you go beyond this class and start to use XML for real, you'll want to integrate your use of Oxygen with a web development, envi with a web development environment and also eventually with a programming environment. 